Plutarch for Chicho, are you still very pessimistic about the near midterm future of Africa? No, uh, I'm more optimistic. Or are they uh, em emancipating themselves in some way and uh, restart to govern themselves and not relapsing into their China dependence or corrupt dictatorships or civil wars? Yeah, I'd uh, just give, give you guys a heads up. Uh, what Plutonic Pluralist is referring to here is in 2011, 2011, 2012, I wrote an article called The Future of Africa Looks Bleak. Africa. I called it The Future of Africa Looks Bleak. And I released this in 2013, but it was a buildup of a few different articles, information I was putting together from 2000. Nine, 2010 2011 right and here's a link to the article and in 2013 i wrote an article called saying that the future of africa looks bleak here is why and i broke it up into five parts introduction part one western powers go full low iq on africa though there's a word i use that you're not even allowed to say anymore right western powers go full red rat on africa china versus africa a resource war Part two, I called France has forgotten the battle of Algiers. Algiers, Africa never will. Ordinary victories by Manu Rarset. And that's referencing a comic book series that came out of France. And 100% were right on both those counts, part one and part two, right? Because France has just been kicked out of Mali and Niger. Africa has not forgotten about the Battle of Algiers. Part three, we said recolonization of Africa is symptom of our addiction to growth, differential accumulation, why GDP growth rates um, influence foreign policy and go into a lot of data. And part four was the subjugation of Africa, the battle for, for continent, full throttle into oblivion, right? And let me provide the link to that article. Uh, that was 11 years ago that I wrote that article, right? Because you could see where it was going. And since that time, you know, you had uh, Libya annihilated, Egypt teeter-tottering, um, Mali, Niger kicking out the United States and uh, France out of there, Russia stepping in big time in Africa. Uh, what else? Kenya civil war, Sudan more war continues the war, Ethiopia and uh, Eurasia. I never know how to pronounce it. They they're being at war with each other. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Congo still doing what Congo does. South Africa economic demise basically in full collapse mode, right? And a lot of things going on, right? But I think Africa has hit bottom and they're rising up, right? I think the future of Africa, and if I was still into writing articles and doing all the research, putting it all together and stuff, I would write an article saying that the future of Africa looks promising, the rise of a superpower, right? That's what I would call it something along those lines and i would start bringing everything together and linking it up and try to see how things are shifting right there's still serious problems going going on libya what's going to happen there but that's really a part of europe the problems of europe that they began and it needs to be solved right i think you know, are the Western powers going to go quietly into the night? I don't think so. There's a lot of resources there that they need. So it's still going to be turbulent, but I think it's hit bottom. If it was a stock market, the chart would be looking like this. Uh, where's the pen? Hold on a second. This is... This is what I would say the chart of Africa looks like. Uh, in 2013, let's assume, and this would have been coming down like this. So this would have been 2013. We picked it up on the way down, right? So I would say it hit bottom, right? 
This would have been Libya Gaddafi being annihilated. Well, afterwards, I guess. What would it? Well, I, I don't know what this would be. But it went down and then bouncing the bottom, hit another bottom. But this was a higher bottom than this bottom. And what we're seeing, I think we're here, right? It's coming up, right? It's coming up. Is it going to continue on this trend, right? Is it going to go whoop? Or is there going to be major pressure for it to come down? We don't know yet. We don't know yet. But it's starting to look promising. It's starting to look promising. Okay. One of the reasons it's starting to look promising is because Europe has serious internal problems, civil war, civil unrest, and it doesn't have the resources anymore to create chaos in Africa. They've lost a lot of power based on Ukraine. They start a war that they can't finish, right? They're in deep shit, right? So European influence in Africa is diminishing. United States is becoming extremely busy with the Pacific and with Latin America. So what's happening is I think parts of Africa have been sacrificed. Control over Africa has been sacrificed right or whatever control they had right um africa is still there right but they haven't been paying as much attention to it as in the past so the african nations the peoples are getting together and cutting deal with china with russia and that's solidifying more and more right so we'll see how it goes but the chart is looking better is looking better Ch -ch -ch.